Hello, hello beautiful Leo and welcome into my channel, The Rare Gazelle. My name is Reem and welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo or anyone for that matter. Even if you're not a Leo, I trust that there is something in here for you. So please use your intuition and your discernment at all times. Leo, um, I attempted to do your reading yesterday and it felt like there were so many things going on. There was this information and then this knowledge came through and then this channeled message and then, oh yeah, remember that reading and this one that we did six months ago and then this chain of events that we channeled in 2023 and then, oh yeah, don't forget about your new lion that you've resurrected into. It was just like a bunch of information that I was just like, okay, let's, let's start stitching, let's start stitching, let's start stitching. And every time I start to weave this information together, it just like broke apart. So I attempted to, to do it at different times of the day, thinking that maybe time would fix it for me and nope. So I went to bed, had a dream, and it was this beautiful spirit. Actually, I've never seen her before. It, um, new spirits are coming into my dreams. Um, and definitely connected to your energy somehow. Okay. And it was a little girl. And it was way back in the past somewhere. And I don't know what era, but it was definitely an, an, old, an old era. And I was hugging this little girl and I kept saying to her, don't worry, the information will find you. The information will, will find you. I knew she was an orphan. I knew she was alone. I also felt that she was desperate. And then I remember calling her Poppy. And I was like, Poppy? I woke up, it was like 3.50 in the morning, got my phone, started researching spiritual symbolisms of Poppy the spirit of the poppy, the flower, which is very symbolic of eternal life, renewal, resurrection, life, death, resurrection. There's a lot of medicinal properties in the poppy as well um, to help with sleep and infections and inflammation and things like that. Um, and also like war, right? Uh, veterans um, to... to to show respect to soldiers and like military men and women. So I was like, okay. Um, I started to piece together that yesterday for Leo, you kept getting the Phoenix card, which we understand you're going through a rebirth, you're going through a resurrection. But what I started to understand today is that your heart is going through a resurrection. And I've never heard that before. I've heard of heart awakening. I've heard of higher heart integration. I've never heard, heard of a heart being resurrected. But isn't that what resurrection is? It's like the heart dies and then comes back to life. It's like... I don't know how to, I really don't know how to explain this energy. I feel like you're in a new vibration. You're in a new frequency that I'm being attuned to right now to understand what you're going through. Um, a lot of your readings are being pieced together. The new chain of events, the new lion that we channeled last week, and then the, the, the cosmic reordering where we were like taken by oh, my, my right ears burning. Um, as soon as I started talking about the angels, because I'm, I'm the fluttering that I was hearing with the cosmic reordering, because you were changing the order of things, you were changing the, the chain of events. You are currently living the new in the new chain of events, this timeline with the new chain of events that you have set off in 2023. You're living it right now. What you changed and the angels and like the cosmos reordered, you're about to experience. You're about to experience. That is assured. So in a way, your future is assured in some sense, okay? Like if you have been 
particularly and very, very specifically, okay, I'm being very careful with this, specifically manifesting a very particular thing that is assured. That is assured. I feel like we are not behind the curtain anymore. I feel like, Leo, you are sitting in front row center and you're about to watch the curtains draw back and you're about to see the show. You're about to watch your creations come to life. Resurrection. Because you have resurrected within internally as within, so without. Your, your external reality is going to mirror your, in, your internal reality because your internal reality has completely shifted. Your internal self, your internal world. Because your internal world is no longer dictated by limitations. Your internal world has been liberated by this divine lion, by this divine expression that is this ultimate presence that is what is present here i can feel you and i can see you i can see that your presence is is completely changed you're definitely not the same leo that i was picking up on even though you are but you're not Thank you to my ancestors, known and unknown. Thank you, Mother Goddess and Anna Ishtar. What on earth is going on with you? <laughs> Why am I having such a hard time here? Make a wish. Make a wish, number 25. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's, it's, you have a newfound optimism. Look at this little girl. We're going to call her Poppy from the dream. This is you. The information will find you. The wish will find you. I feel like I needed to have that dream. I, I'm, I kid you not, like I tried more than three times to do your reading yesterday. I've never done that with any other sign. I went to bed, had a dream. Spirit of the poppy. And I held this little girl and I said, the information will find you. The wish will find you. Something tells me that you were that... You were that child in my dream. That was a child of your... That, that was you. That was you as a child in a past life. And you made a wish. And this wish that you made a really long time ago is coming to find you in this lifetime here and is finding you because you are the ultimate presence of who you are. It's finding you because you are embodying the ultimate presence of your divinity. You have a purity about you, Leo. You have an innocence about you. You're non-judgmental. You're reflective. You're honest. You're open. You're humble. You're grateful. You're teachable. You're a teacher. 
I'm telling you, this is not the same Leo that I was reading for. I'm not surprised that I'm also going to get some new Leos that have never seen me before, that I've never... But this is exactly what you need to hear today. I, for, for a little bit, I was thinking maybe did I get it wrong? Did I get the channeled message wrong? Maybe I'm picking up on a new group of Leos. I don't know. No, that's just how drastically you changed. When you talk about resurrection, like your whole energy shifted. You can even see the curtains here are drawn back so that the wish can be freed into the night sky. But it's all one sky, right? It's one sky. These were probably the, the same star that you wished upon as a child. It's probably, you know, the star is still here today. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know the life cycle of stars. It could be, right? I just can't help but feel like when I held that little girl and I said, the information is finding you. It's because she made a wish. She made a wish. And because you are in this ultimate presence of yours, you, because you are being authentic, Okay, when I say divine presence, your ultimate presence, honey, that just means you, you are yourself. You're, you're just authentically you with no limitations of your expression. You're expressing yourself freely without limitation of the past, current, current life, and our past lives. You've done your best to clear the karmic, karmic board. You've done your best to heal and to live you've done your best and let me tell you something doing your best is enough please don't ever think that doing your best is not enough it is enough that little girl that i hugged in that past life she was also enough she was enough she is enough Oh my God, pull yourself together, Reem. <laughs> pull yourself together. I'm, I'm telling, I'm the butterfly effect at the bottom. The new chain of events. I'm, I'm telling you, you're living your new chain of events. You're living your new chain of events right now. The butterfly effect. Yes. Okay. That's confirmation right there. I, I can't help but feel that even here there's a curtain here there's a curtain here and a curtain here I just keep I keep getting the same message you're receiving this wish that you made as a child from a long time ago you're receiving it now because you are the ultimate presence. Because you have pulled yourself together. Because you are divinely expressing yourself authentically. This wish... There's something about this wish with this butterfly effect with this new chain of events. So just give me a moment because they're taking me.
it doesn't trigger the chain of event because the chain of event has already been set off. You're living it right now. I think the, the wish is coming in with, thank you. It's coming with the chain of events. Okay. It's coming with the chain of events. Give me a moment. A lot of you know what this wish is already. You've already, even, you know it. I think that's why I felt like an information was traveling to find you. That's the wish. Oh my God, you have your the perfect storm at the bottom of the deck. The stranger curiosity. <laughs> that's this. That's this child. That's this inner. Is, I don't even. It's it's your. It's a child from. A, it's you as a child in a past life. It's like the stranger, but it's not a stranger because it's you. And this is what you're pulling in too. Because, so you, okay, so to get, to bring this down a little bit to earth, you may have been adopted. You may have been an orphan yourself in this lifetime. You may have been in the foster care system. Or you may have felt abandoned. You may have felt like a stranger in your home or a stranger in your family or the black sheep of your family. It's like you're seeking for some kind of belongingness and that's what you're drawing in. You're drawing in belongingness. You are finding belongingness but you have seeked belonging externally outside of you and now you have seeked it within you you have seeked belongingness within you and that was the key that was the key so i'm seeing two butterfly effects here <laughs> i'm seeing the chain of events that you've set off last year that you're currently on yes but there's a second butterfly effect that is happening here simultaneously in another dimension that's working through space and time with this past life energy that as you pull yourself together as you pulled and you healed internally okay these wounds you've accepted what you have accepted you have started to find belongingness internally right with this authenticity this divine lion of yours that triggered this butterfly effect and that's why like this this child you as a child in a past life it triggered this wish to be set free It triggered it to be set free. I'm sorry for not holding up the cards. I people yell at me all the time about that. I'm sorry. I don't I don't think when I'm channeling, I'm just channeling, so I apologize. Okay, so that is the second butterfly effect that I'm seeing here.
So as I was saying, some of you guys know this wish because you've made it once before. So to help you out a little bit, if you're like, well, I don't know what wish, it, I don't know what wish it is. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know. You've made it before in this lifetime. You've, you've, you've wished for this before. Like it's, it's a, it's a, it's a constant wish of yours is what spirit is saying. I can't like pinpoint what it is because everyone is wishing for different things. There's thousands of you, right? So, but to pinpoint the energy that is in the collective, it's something that you have wished before. It's something that you desire. It's something that, okay, it's something that you continuously long for, okay? That's what's finding you. That's what's traveling through space and time to find you. Also, this child is what's also traveling through space and time to find you. Your inner child. So some of you may be doing like inner child work, inner child healing. And it's, it's interesting because again, no coincidence, I just posted my childhood pictures just a few days ago because again, I'm going through an integration and I'm in the collective too. So I'm not surprised that you may also be going through this too. So that may be a confirmation for some of the work that you're doing internally. Um, I just heard it's a divine eternal child. It's a divine eternal child. I don't know how I can explain the difference. It kind of feels like an overarching, like archetypal energy. It's definitely triggered by, again, this new lion of yours, this divine lion of yours, your authenticity, your authentic expression that you are pulling together in this like ultimate presence. That's that eternal child, divine eternal child, excuse me, is triggered by that. So it's like a far away stranger, but it's not. Because the closer that it gets to you, the more it becomes familiar to you. <sighs> Teachability. Yeah, see? And again, information. So like there's a lot of things that are finding you, Leo, that are teaching you about yourself to help bring more of your divine authenticity together, to, to pull it more together. Also, like, to strengthen it. Because tell, I'm telling you, your ultimate presence is, is very, very strong. And I feel like you're pulling, it's very strong because you're pulling in these eternal energies that are yours. Like, that's so fucking powerful. And this is what you're learning. You're learning a lot about yourself right now. You're learning a lot about yourself. I feel like you're also drawing in these energies because you're curious, you're humble, and you're teachable. Okay, so continue to be in that space because that is a very powerful space to be in. Wow. What was that? Oh. <gasps> His first breath, beginner's mind, it popped out, then popped right back in, but it grabbed my attention. And I went, oh, as if I was like taking a first breath. Beginner's mind to give life, the poppy, the spirit of the poppy to give life to something. Resurrection. You're giving life, oh my God, you're giving life to this divine eternal child. To live through you in a curious spectacle, in a curious way, in a curious purity and innocence. 
Yeah, you are really beautiful, Leo. You're very, very beautiful. Yeah, refusal of the call, the dream thief. See, it's interesting because I had, again, I had the dream. That's where I saw your divine eternal child in my dream. And that was the missing piece. Like that was what I needed. That's what you needed to bring this message together. You're no longer refusing the call of the divine eternal child. You're no, wrong you're no longer refusing that call because you no longer refuse yourself. Okay, we're shifting. So just give me this. This just shifted for me. So just give me a moment. Remember how I said there's assurance of the future for you in, in some aspect because of the new chain of events that you have set off and like your optimism is a key as well you're very optimistic about your future so there's a another thread here that see see what i mean there's a lot of like things that are being pulled together right now right internally and this is going to change your reality too right as within so without so now we're getting in your external oh, i'm so sorry now we're getting into your external reality that is being influenced by your internal reality okay that's being projected from your eternal re and internal reality excuse me So there's, okay, so there's a dream of yours, okay? There's a dream, there's an idea that may have been preserved. There may be a project, there may, this could be even a person, however, this may resonate with you. Um, that whenever you think about it, it kind of sets you in a very um, overwhelming and lost in space direction where you don't know how on earth this is going to happen you don't know who what where when and why you have all the spiritual energies and the focus and like you know what i mean but practically you don't know how things could go from here to your dream to your reality to your world you know what i mean like every time you think about it you don't know how it can jump from your dream to your world okay it's like it it seems very complex in your mind when you think about it Okay, so every time you think about a dream, an idea, a goal of yours, it has this like overwhelming sensation that sends you lost in space. All right, now it's shifting. It's shifting. Because of how you're pulling yourself together internally and you're expressing this divine line without limitation, there's this newfound confidence that you have that you didn't have before. So now whenever you think of this dream or you think of this idea or you think of that path or you think of that person, it doesn't seem so lost in space. You don't seem so overwhelmed by it anymore. It becomes possible. It becomes possible. And that's this piece that I feel in the chain of events. Remember, there's two chain of events, right? The one internal that we just went through. And there's this one in your in your reality, in your external reality, where you like changed the order of things and you were like co-creating and manifesting that we were behind the scenes looking at. All right that this dream this goal of yours which is separate from your wish okay so you have a wish that is coming true you have a dream a goal an idea about your future that is assured do you see the color here of this world you see that 
it's like an assured um okay I'm getting like you know when you like color you color color like a coloring book right like there's a part of the world that is colored because you have colored it in your dream like you have you you have designed it you have chosen the colors you have you had this idea right okay do you know what I mean and so it's on it's like stamped on the world and so this spirit of this cosmic being this cosmic energy the divine the universe is turning the world right which is very symbolic of your cycles all right you're going to see the assurance of this dream you're going to live the dream is going to move from the dream dimension to the to the to the world to the reality okay so it's going to it's going to move it's going to move that's also this butterfly effect okay that whatever this idea that you're going to see that you're going to live this path this dream of yours that is also going to set off a new direction for you again i'm telling you your your chain of events are just taking off right now okay we're we're, we're on the train we're sitting we're no longer behind the scenes okay we're watching it happen now you're watching excuse me you're watching it happen now <laughs> i'm just i'm just a bystander i'm just like rooting you. i'm rooting for you <laughs> okay does this make sense Okay, now, I feel like there's another layer, <laughs> so just bear with me, just bear with me, I think there's another layer, I had another layer, the wish, the dream, We'll get to love in just a moment. Why am I losing my train of thought? Maybe this is where we stop for now? I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. The two chain of events, the internal world, the external world. Something doesn't seem so big, bad, and scary anymore. It's not so overwhelming because of your newfound confidence. You're going to see that come to life. Hmm. Hmm. Just give me a moment. I'm sorry. Your ultimate, your, oh, there it is. Your, oh, <laughs> no, not going to cry. Not gonna cry. The, the the disowned self, the root girl, the girl that I saw in my dream, and then you have here the authentic self, the many masks. So spirit is just confirming. Okay, so spirit is just confirming the channeled messages right now. See, you're watching it happen. Okay, thank you, spirit. They brought they just brought that back. Okay, so you're okay. So remember when we were like behind the scenes. You've been getting information, you've been getting knowledge, you've been getting details, you've been getting clues about this unfolding for quite some time, maybe since 2019. Maybe you've been sitting on this dream since 2019 or this idea. Maybe that's when you had this, your initial awakening. I don't know, but there's something about 2019 where something, you set something new off inside of you internally. And you've been working behind the scenes. This isn't, I just heard you, you have eyes everywhere. You have eyes everywhere that have been seeing things 
in the past lives that have been seeing things in the upper world, the middle world, the lower world, the underworld, the shadow worlds, like everything, like you've been just like, oh my God, like you've been, I feel like you've, you've gone through like a really quick awakening. Like it's been like very fast for you. I don't know if you felt that way, but something feels very quick. Like I feel like I'm moving really quickly all of a sudden. So you may have like felt like your initial awakening was just like a lightning speed and you don't know what the fuck just happened. And now you have a moment of like, you were just behind the scenes, like gathering all the information and the details and the knowledge and the breadcrumbs and the, and the riddles from spirit, <laughs> like all of this stuff and piecing it all together. You were pulling it all together while pulling yourself together. And now you have a moment of pause. Now you have a moment of pause. And they want you to sit and watch. I said that. You have your the watchers. They want you to sit and watch. They want you to sit and watch your authentic self rise. This this divine lion, your 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 ultimate presence rise and they want you to watch the the integration of the girl that i saw in my dream you your eternal divine child they want you to watch they want you to see how beautiful you are in your wholeness You really are beautiful, Leo. Like, you really are... You really are one of a kind, aren't you? You know, there's a saying out there, and I feel like I really need to say it right now. that you are the you are the angel that you have been praying to why do i feel like that angel is your divine eternal child she or he is here right here looking to be rooted with the roots pulled from the limitations of the past because she or he is no longer rooted in that past life where she was disowned because I saw her disown. She was an orphan. She was alone. You took her out of there. And you're going to root her with you. This is how you pull yourself together more. I'm telling you, your ultimate presence is, <laughs> is something that I've never felt before. Like you are an inspiration. You're inspiring me. Watch. There, I'm like... I usually can like feel when people start their cycles. I, I like can channel the years. And then people confirm it by like... Because I'm not an astrologer, but people confirm it. And it's really cool. But with you, I feel like something started in 2019. I feel like some kind of 
there's like a, a chain of event that happened that you started in 2019. And then there's a new chain of events that you that you reordered in 2023 last year that we channeled right on the Lionsgate portal August 8th. I'll never forget that reading. I'll never forget that date actually for personal reasons. But when I did that reading for you, it was like it was massive. That new chain of events that you have set off in 2023 on the Lionsgate portal. And then there's another chain of event here that takes us into the past life. It's interesting because I'm seeing those like chains, those cause and effects like on the head of the crown, like I guess the crown of the root girl. Like you've completed those chains of events. Like you, you've you come to the end. You see how she like, she unrooted herself because you came to the end of those chains of events. Like you've come to the end of those timelines. So which confirms to me right now with you, beautiful Leo, that you cleared A few karmic boards, a few, not just one. You cleaned up, and like you cleared a karmic board from the past life, and you're also clearing a karmic board in this lifetime here, and like you're starting fresh on the new one that you have set off in 2023. Okay, like, I don't know. It's a lot. Like, it's a lot. I'm going to get one last card. What is this? <laughs> Willow the Wisp. Yeah, love completion at the bottom. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, yeah, completion. The treasures hidden in the shadows. Willow the Wisp, number 62. Yeah, yeah. The information will find you. The treasure will find you. The gifts will find you. The blessings will find you. There are treasures like in your soul. There are treasures in your divine eternal child. Like you have, you've, 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 they have found you and you have found them. Like you have found the treasures. That's just confirmation right there. And th this is also a confirmation. So this is 41, which is 5. So you do have here 5-5. Five, five. Um, I just heard you're closing out multiple stories. I just heard that. You're closing multiple stories. And it's interesting because I got your channeled message when I was channeling s sacred scripts when I was on the couch and I was talking about grieving my old self. That I'm not the same girl anymore, even though I am. She's still here with me, right? That's the treasure. The treasure never leaves us. Like, that is us, but it's not me anymore. And anyway, I was channeling... I was channeling... Um, new sacred scripts that were unlocking, like new books, new chapters, new information about ourselves... And that's when you came in. I heard Leo no longer performing old narratives and old scripts. You're performing as as the as the divine lion, as your eternal and ultimate presence in this divine expression. So you're closing out multiple stories, and you're starting a new one. The magician's sword, confidence in your magic. Thank you, spirit. That's the lion. Look at this lion. That's literally a totem of a lion. That's why they were like, tell Leo to just watch. Just watch. I love you, Leo. Thank you for thank you for allowing me in this space. I know this one might not have been easy to watch 
or listen through but thank you for i'm really happy i got through it you know why i feel like i had a hard time because i can see me in here so thank you um okay so regarding love regarding love let's get into wow that's okay regarding love so i um i was picking up on that someone feels your new presence okay and it's not just one person it's multiple people that feel your presence leo there's someone from the past that senses that you are changing again with this past person i don't feel this person is making any moves towards you i feel like this person in the past when you dated them this could be recent past or maybe you are learning how to walk away from them you know take what resonates please but I feel like this person missed an opportunity with you. I feel like this person didn't make any moves. They were the runner, so to speak, and you were the chaser, okay? I feel like the dynamic was off. I feel like the vibration was off. It does feel like a karmic relationship to me. We'll get into the cards. But I feel like this person missed an opportunity with you. They didn't take a chance. Now they see you or they may be feeling like you are changing again. And let me tell you why they feel you. It's not because you didn't cut the cord. I feel like you have cut the cord. But sometimes people can still have unhealthy attachments towards us because they still think of us, they still dream of us, they still miss us, they still, you know, they they wonder, okay? And that can be an attachment in of itself. That doesn't mean that there's a soul tie that is connecting the both of you, all right? So it's important to understand the differentiation. Um, so the reason why they're coming up in this space here for you is because you can feel them or they are taking notice of you. I don't see this person making any moves towards you because they didn't learn the lesson number one and number two they did not make a move in the past so i feel like this person is kind of predictable um you know i feel like you can kind of predict their movements is something that i'm getting here as well um in the present sense, I feel like there is someone that is sensing that you are outgrowing them and outgrowing the connection. Now, this one is, it can be a lover, it can be an on-off connection, it can, be, it can be someone recently that you have come into or maybe a relationship that you have been in for quite some time that you are outgrowing and you know that you are outgrowing. Um, or this could be a friend, this could be a friend, a coworker, a family member, however this may uh, resonate with you. Now, I also felt that there's someone in the future that is sensing that you are the one for them. And like, how does this work, right? Um, how can they know that you're the one for them if they haven't even met you yet? Well, I feel like there's this person in the future that feels like there is someone out there for them. And you are that alignment. You are that one that is a vibrational match to this person. Um, and that's why their energy is connected here in your space. Now, you may also be feeling like you want to date, that you want to start a new chapter, that you want to meet someone new. So you feel very optimistic about your love life in a way that you haven't necessarily been optimistic about your love life before in the past. So I feel like you also think that, you know what, there may be someone out there for me. So it kind of sounds like Goldilocks <laughs> in a way, where it's just like, this one's too firm, this one's too soft, this one is just right. Um, so I feel like you kind of have that theme in your love life going on, okay? So take this as it resonates. I'm just going to get into the cards and see what other messages want to come out for you. Um, and yeah, we'll just continue to flow. Thank you again for allowing me to read for you. Okay, eyeglasses. Assessment, you could you could be wearing eyeglasses, sorry. <laughs> or reading glasses is something that I'm seeing here. Um seeing clearly. Yeah. Check the details. The fine print. Okay, so there's something here that you are reading. I think it's a contract. Some of you are signing a contract, but spirit here wants you to evaluate first, check the details first, check the fine print before you sign. That's a message for someone. Um, you could be a Taurus. But I feel like you're evaluating your options. So I am seeing the seven of cups. You could have some, yeah, and this is number seven. Um, I do feel like you're going to get some options in love or maybe you are seeing that there are options in love for you. I don't know how keen you are on the options that you are receiving right now, but you are definitely evaluating your options 
or you are being guided to evaluate your options to see things clearly and from a different perspective okay also i just heard be open-minded you have here the universe source infinite unending awakening i mean yeah this is this is confirmation of what we just read in your spiritual growth heaven higher perspective the big picture law of one i also feel like you're understanding your love life more where you understand okay i couldn't have been with i you know, this is why it didn't work out with this person. This is why it's not working out with this person. Like, I feel like you're putting all the pieces of the puzzle together to see the big picture. And that is also very reflective of your love life. Okay. Yeah. Dear John, rejection, it's not working exactly what I was picking up on. So you could have recently broken up with someone. You could have recently gone through a divorce or you're going through a divorce or a breakup currently, but you're in some kind of strange situation where you know that this is the end. So um, I am seeing some kind of communication. You could be evaluating your communication before you send it out is something that I'm seeing here. So like you're being very careful with the words that you are choosing so that no one gets the wrong impression or, mm, okay, that's very interesting. So you are being very careful of the words that you are selecting here um, so that you no longer leave the door open. Like you want to make sure that this person knows that the door is not open, that once you hear my words, once we shut this door, it is not open open because you know some people have breakups where it's like unending you know it's like uh there's still a crack open you know what i mean so there's no crack open here the door is shut is something that i'm seeing here i'm seeing the tower mm. repair fine tune make adjustments recover yeah so i feel like you're recovering recovering right now from a breakup There is someone around you who wants to make something right. They want to repair the damage. They want to restore the damage. They want to reset it. But again, that's why like they were really emphasizing that the door is shut. Okay. It's interesting. Okay, I'm getting this energy. You have here the handcuffs that came out. We'll talk about that in just a moment. I'm getting this energy of like, why do you want to repair and fix things now when you had the chance to is what I'm getting here. Like this person had a chance to repair and fix things, but it's almost like it's maybe too late that they're repairing and that they're fixing things. I feel like it's because you close the door. It's like... I feel like you're really looking for someone to expand with, like the universe, expansion, open. You're really, I feel like you have a hard time finding someone that number one is on your vibration, that's on your wavelength, but that sees the world in which you see and the level of growth and expansion that you seek within self and within your reality, right? We talked about that as within, so without. So that's what I'm talking about with like, you know, you're outgrowing, you're outgrowing relationships. Look at you. You're outgrowing relationships right now in your life. And there is someone very particularly that you've outgrown and now they want to fix things. And it's almost like, why do you want to fix things now? Okay, that's um, that's very prominent here. Yeah, you felt held back. You felt suppressed. You needed to break free. You broke free from the chains. I'm seeing the devil in the reverse. You broke free from the chains. You may have felt powerless in this situation. You may have felt like this person was trying to control you. Maybe their opinion was um, overbearing or very dominant or something like that. Mm. But you, you broke free. You broke free. You freed yourself. 
and freeing yourself like i feel like this is also very symbolic of your growth like you freed yourself from your attachments internally and it almost once you freed yourself internally from your limitations it actually cleared your vision and it helps you see the limitations in your relationship. And that's why I feel like you are not in the situation anymore the same way that you used to or you don't view it the same way anymore. Yeah, many options. Again, many options. So you are getting options in love. This card has this card came out for Leo, uh, uh, Sagittarius, excuse me. So some of you may drive a convertible, maybe um, a lover around you or someone around you drives a convertible. But there's uh, possibilities that are coming in, okay? Spirit wants you to start enjoying your love life, to go with the wind. There's going to be alternatives and potential um, lovers that are coming in and they're being sent by the universe, okay? Again, like you're closing many stories right now and you're starting new, you're starting new stories. It's interesting, that's what I picked up on and here you are writing like the last page of a book with someone. So you're definitely closing a chapter with someone and, and you're starting a new chapter with another person, with someone new. Okay, I'm picking up on the new energy right now. Wow, you do have your eclipse at the bottom of the deck. So um, something may happen quite unexpectedly regarding your relationships with others during this eclipse season. I am feeling the eclipse season um, until April 16th, okay? I know the eclipse is April 8th, but I'm feeling the energy of the eclipse um, very potent until April 16th. The eclipse energy can be as long as like up to three to six months, like after the eclipse energy, after the eclipse happens. Um, anyway, so I'm picking up on this, uh, a possibility of yours, a lover of yours. They're very smart. They're very strategic. They're giving me emperor. I'm also seeing king of swords. They're very tactical. They could be a military man or woman. I, again, like I did pick up on that veteran energy with um, the spirit of the poppy from my dream. They're very, very smart. They're very smart. I also feel like you two kind of match each other intellectually and mentally is something that I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing that you strategically found a way out of a relationship is something that I'm seeing here as well. That's that chapter that you closed. Wow, commitment, the diamond, faithfulness, commitment, yeah, uh, spiritual power, invincible spiritual power. So there's this person is definitely coming in for you from the universe in a very unique way, in a very synchronistic way, serendipitous way. But there is commitment, there is a lighthearted energy, there is pure energy here. Also multidimensional, multifaceted. So I am seeing like you're really going to be enticed by this person i feel like this person's really smart you have your inventor innovative imagination creative um they could be a trendsetter they could be like a mastermind of some kind regarding their business regarding their work um they could be a bodybuilder they really like to take care of their physique they could be a, a what the influencer you know what i mean <laughs> yeah wow coin toss Fate right there, fate, butterfly effect. Oh, I kid you not. Okay. Okay, Leo. Here we go, Leo. We love to see that butterfly effect. I mean, this is like the entire theme of your energy. So spirit is saying that this person is coming in because of the chain of events that you have set off because of the chapters that you have closed, because of the multiple storylines that you are closing. So I love seeing a synchronicity like this because this is a huge confirmation of your energy. So this is really beautiful. This is very, very beautiful. So yeah, unpredictable here, okay? 
Wow. So you're, yeah, this could happen very unpredictably for you, but it is, it is going to happen. You could, you could be at a long distance here with airplane from this person. You could meet them while um, traveling unexpectedly is something that I'm seeing here as well. You have a really good internal guidance system and that's what spirit is really pointing out to me. But also this person is also, they have that to match you, you, yours. They also have a really good internal guidance system. Yeah, you guys are going to be a really good pair, tandem bicycle. You're going to be um, in unison. All right. Two of a kind. I love that. Partnership collaboration. This also says hookup. Interesting. Okay, so I am seeing the Ace of Wands. I am seeing really good sex here. I feel like the both of you are going to be really attracted to each other's physique. All right, but also the mind, okay? I know. I don't want to hear in the comment section, like, I know, honey. I know. I'm just reading the energy. I'm just saying, like, someone really wants to have sex with you because you're good looking, but also because they obviously love your your heart your purity your light your your mind okay we talked about we talked about that too all right let's go to here let's see let's get into the tarot okay one more shuffle for leo For Leo. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is this person that I was feeling. All right, the past or maybe a present person for you. All right, that's not letting go of you. Again, I do feel like they have an unhealthy attachment to you, and here they are very unhealthily attaching themselves. Okay, here you have the Four of Pentacles. And number four with the handcuffs, they're not letting go. Okay, I feel like you're just, you're moved on. All right, I mean, that's a, don't even worry that they're still hung up. It's, there's nothing, I feel like it's a small problem. Okay, you do hear the Knight of Wands. I'm rooting for you guys. I'm 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 so excited because I'm rooting for you guys. <laughs> the uh, wheel of fortune in the upright, because you deserve that shit. In the upright, that's positive changes. That's positive movements. This is also divine destiny. This is the universe. This is synchronicity. This is the butterfly effect, cause and effect. I mean, I'm telling you. All right. I feel like, let's see, mm -hmm. 10 of wands in the reverse, yeah, you're just, you freed yourself, okay, I feel like the energy may repeat itself, you hear the four of wands, yeah, there's a tower that I was feeling, the world, yeah, so the energy is going to repeat itself, you're closing out a very unstable relationship, you've let go, a lot of truth is going to surface or you may have already seen the truth or maybe you've already seen the dishonesty that's that's helped you let go and move on. Okay, let me go to another deck because that's just the past energy or even your current energy that you are working through. Let me see if there's anything else. Can we get new energies? Okay, you have here the two of pentacles in the reverse. There's you. All right. Queen of wands energy. Hmm. There's something that you're very certain about here. And again, I feel like that's still picking up on that energy from the past. You're very certain about that. Yeah, the moon. Strength, there's you again in the reverse. Just trying to see if there's anything else, any other storylines that want to come in. 
Okay, you're very certain about something. Okay, there's a, there's a friend group that you're very um, cautious about. There's a friend group here that takes a lot of your strength. There's a, there's, there's a crew here, all right? Maybe one friend, maybe two friends, maybe three friends. I don't know, but there's like a group of people or maybe one person that really um, takes, your, takes your power, takes your strength. And again, you're all about feeling powerful and empowered. Sorry, feeling powerful and empowered. So this rejection and cold hard truths may be directed towards, again, more than one person. Not just this person from the past, but it could be also people that you're outgrowing, right? We did pick up on that. All right. Yeah, two of wands. Yeah, see, you're not you're not unsure anymore. There's something here that you're very certain of. Even if things are hidden, you still know the truth because of your intuition. Yeah, seven of wands. Wow, you're very defensive. You're very defensive against whoever this person is or these people are in your life. Oh my God, ton of swords. That's why you're defensive. That is why you're, that is why you're defensive. Okay, someone could have like betrayed you or you have seen a friend betray another friend. And you're just like, yeah, that shit is not happening here. That shit is not happening to me. So spirit want, spirit's giving you a warning right now. If this betrayal didn't happen to you, I'm picking up that it happened like you saw a betrayal. Like you were a witness to a betrayal. And this doesn't make you feel very good. It doesn't make you feel strong. It doesn't make you feel empowered. It doesn't make you feel part of the group. And so you're defending yourself because you don't want it to happen to you. So you're going to move on. You're also defending your plan or you're, again, like, right, with chess, strategy, planning. Yeah. You really don't want anyone to know what you're planning either is what I'm seeing here. So you're kind of blocking yourself off from these people because you don't trust them. Queen of Swords. I feel like that's connected to what I channeled with you outgrowing people. People feel like you're outgrowing them. You have here the Knight of Wands again in the reverse. Inconsistent mother efforts. All right. Because you're the empress. What? Like, I'm telling you, you have outgrown people. And people are noticing that you are expanding, that you are outgrowing, that you are moving on, that you are just this. They feel your ultimate presence. The empress, the ultimate queen, right, is the empress. They feel your ultimate presence. And so some of them are like, I don't know if like someone is trying to do something to impress you, but it actually ended up like backstabbing someone else. I don't know. It's weird. I don't like tapping into that weird energy. There's someone here that's just doing something that's betraying another person and you're a witness to it. Is there anything else? Any other storyline that wants to come through? Mm. Oh, I like that. The sun. The moon again, that's this eclipse energy, the solar eclipse. Okay, so that's just repeated there. The page of wands and the three of wands. The two of cups there. I was wondering, I'm like, are you going to, are you going to confirm what we channeled earlier with this, um, with this new love that's coming in? Yes, they are coming in. They're coming in very quickly. You're going to get some kind of news. I think it's some kind of communication. I want to know. There's the sun again. So the fact that I put the sun and the moon back and the sun came out is telling me that there's something quite unexpectedly that may occur around the eclipse regarding this new love. 
tell me more about there's the queen of swords that we keep seeing there's the tower sudden there's the uh knight of swords why is the tower here there's the moon again <laughs> i love playing with magic it's fun there's the empress again okay that's the energy that's the energy on new love okay um so there's definitely the eclipse energy is there's something very unexpected that's going to occur unpredictable energies that are going to occur around the eclipse again the eclipse energy is not just on april 8th i'm seeing it very potently until april 16th and the eclipse energies can last up until three to six months after the eclipse have occurred okay so i'm getting i'm getting something very quite un very unpredictable regarding love regarding new love that is coming in for you this new love they okay so with the page of wands here i know it's in the reverse it's still real it's still good news But it's news in a way that it's in a form that you don't expect it to be in, if that makes sense at all. Like, it's a it's a form of communication that you didn't expect. It's maybe words on paper, like, or words and text that you didn't expect to read or you didn't expect it to come from this person. Like, there's something very unexpected about the way this information is, like, structured, all right, but you need to remember like this person is like very, very similar to you in regards to like, like they do what you do and they do it good too. All right, like they're very strategic. They're very, they can plan very well. They're very smart. They're very intellectual. Okay. Give me one more on this page of wands. Ace of Swords. Yeah, they're going to have, they're going to communicate something. Five of Cups in the reverse fell right on top of the Two of Cups. This person is also very careful in love because they've also gone through a breakup. They also went through a bre breakup, that rejection card. All right. See, they're going to have some kind of communication. Again, it's not going to be this, the way that you expect it to be. But I feel like, tell me why this queen of swords is here. There's you. See, you're apprehensive. You're apprehensive about it because like in your love life, you've always felt drained or you've always felt like the one that put in a lot of effort. You may perceive their communication as like, where is this going? <laughs> Three fonts in the reverse. <laughs> Here's the king of swords. See, I'm telling you, they match you. I'm telling you, they they match you. I'm, I can feel it. Tell me more. Tell me more. This has good potential. This has good potential. You hear nine of, nine of pentacles. You both have been single for a bit. Or you, I feel like I'm picking up on a group where like even it, even when you're dating or in a relationship, you felt alone is what I'm feeling here. Yeah, you have here the Ace of Cups in reverse with the Fool. But this Ace of Cups is sitting in the future, so it tells me that this hasn't happened yet. But it's coming. It's coming. And I see you You do want to take a chance or someone here wants to take a chance. I mean, you do have here take a chance and that's the fool. So you're going to take a chance on love. What else can you tell me? Wow, ten of pentacles. Six of swords in the reverse. Yeah, seven of cups. That's your options. With the Ten of Pentacles. Listen, this person, listen, you have the choice. I'm not getting a bad vibe from this person. 
I feel sorry. I feel like um, in the beginning, you may you may take you may take their information or their communication as like, where is this going to go? They do have a long term plan. They may not show you the entire plan or like there's something about this person does think ahead because the Ten of Pentacles is thinking ahead to me. I don't know. I feel like you're going to you're going to think about it. You're going to think about their offer. The devil in reverse. I mean, listen. There's um it's not it's not unhealthy. The devil in reverse. This person is like coming f freed, like freed from previous limitations, freed from the past. Tell me more. The hermit. Yeah, see, they're, they're, they're a little bit of a mystery person. They may be in the public eye, but they're a mystery person. <laughs> they may be in the public eye, but they um, hide. Like, they're private at the same time. Not hide. Yeah, they're private at, their, at the same time. So they may be in the public eye, but they're private too. Tell me about this devil. The Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. This person has a vice. Oh, they're cute. This person has a vice that they're not very patient. That's their, like, downfall. Is like, they're not very patient. They can strategize. They can plan. But as soon as they want something, they want, they go for it. So that may put you off a little bit. But it's funny because, like, you're the same way. <laughs> and they have a plan of like their life and they may also have a plan for you but you may not see it right away three of wands in the reverse but i see you guys a good match i see you guys a good match you actually may be long distance from each other here with the six of swords in the reverse which may be a little bit disappointing at first here with the Four of Cups. But I see a potential long-term relationship here. We did see the Ten of Pentacles. And here you have the Empress and the Two of Cups. Let's see, last card. I don't know. This is a good, it's a good, it's a good potential. The Wheel of Fortune again in the upright position. Yeah, this has good potential. This has good potential. You, you, you're definitely you've you're, you've manifested this person. This person is sent to you from the universe. I feel like you're gonna meet this person no matter what, and like you decide what you want to do. So yeah, this is a reading that I have right now. I love you guys so very much. Thank you for allowing me to read for you today. Thank you for trusting me with your energy. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Oh, just a few housing items. Personal readings are now open. Um, I do have about a seven to eight month wait list. Um, so if you do want a reading, just put in your request and I will get to you in divine timing. There are also membership readings up on the channel and um, I do weekly membership readings every Wednesday for the members. Um, you just have to select the Crow of Akashics and Shadows bundle to, um, to receive the weekly readings, okay, every Wednesday. Um, merch is now also on my channel, um, on my website rather. <laughs> if you go to my website, there's merch on there if you're interested. It's just, um, an extension of my, of me, of my creativity. I love you guys. Thank you again. And I will see you next time. Bye.